So I had posted a poll asking you guys, what did you guys want to see for my next video? Because I was planning on recreating an old one. And you guys let me know right off the bat that y'all wanted to see some more dose, some cough, strippers and shit, nightclub lounge. As some of you may know, I did get a new computer. So I no longer have that save file anymore. Like it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart so bad. So I just tried to do one better. Okay. I need y'all to look at my good sis. All right. Ready. <laughs> Ah, ah, this is Benadrillia, y'all. Ben a mother Adrillia. Ben Adrillia. This, I would like to think this is Delsa Mimusinex's long lost, lost, lost great grand ancestor cousin. Ben Adrillia. She ain't got no last name for real because I was all like, do we really need a last name right now? No. So, anywho, Ben Adrillia is a hideous, passionate party animal who's also jealous and an adventurous gal. Like, she gets down, she do not play, and look at her BBL. Yeah. She's serious. Yeah. Yeah. And on top of that, she wants to be public enemy number one. I mean, that makes sense. Like, most hated Benny in these streets right now. Like, come on, guys. Tap in, don't tap out. Like, you know my sayings. My goodness. We need her to have, like, a baddie po- And she already got it. Let's get started. All right, so we've made it to the big city. Benadrillia stepped out with the BBL and all. I didn't even tell you guys what I was, like, planning on doing. Basically, what I want to do is I'm going to run a club. I mean, like I said, you guys were missing all the content with Delsum and Mucinex. So I'm all like, let's go ahead and do a bigger, better, badder with a new baddie, Benadrillia. But another thing real quick, this is a little secret. Let's pause. I'm about to go and roll up right now. So if y'all want to do the same, go ahead and pause this video. I'll be right back. So I'm going to be running the club in what? What's this place called? Evergreen Harbor. <laughs> Let me just say I never play in this world, but I found this spot right here where if we get this unfurnished, we literally get to keep three thousand dollars. I was like, that's a mad good idea. We do need a bar. That's one thing that I immediately think we need. Even if we don't got the pole set up, we gonna need a bar. And then we can just go ahead and put the pole right here. Like, guys, guys, I'm, I'm big brain as hell right now. It's immediate entertainment. Like, turn your back, it's a different form of entertainment. Like, drinks and then, come on. Should I just get her this cot real quick? I don't know, Benadrillia like the finer thing. So, you know what, we gonna do the upgraded cot, you know, the guardian cot. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it, but now we only have $30. And I'm not trying to spend those $30 cause I'm trying to save it for when the bodega opens up. Oh, I gotta hire a vendor? That is so whack, for $100? Now the question is, how are we gonna run all this by ourselves? I can't even tell you. And I keep getting notifications to assign some seats for the customers. So like, this is all we can really afford right now. <laughs> that oh it costs one dollar okay well man thank god for the economy in this city man i thought we was about to go bankrupt buying this chair right now so when do the people come in what time did i say we open i said 8 a.m close at did i set it right do we need an employee we probably need an employee huh oh my gosh eleanor she looks like mrs claus i'm thinking about greg should we tap into greg like why does he only have one name that is so mysterious and he wants to work here Shout out, Greg. Congratulations, Greg. Not gonna lie, his icon does make me a little nervous. <laughs> she getting right to work. I mean, she's not doing the best job, but she's doing what she can. Um, Nobody still showed up, though, so I'm thinking that I set the wrong hours. Like, oh, wait, I did set it wrong. Open at 8, close at 4. My goodness. There we go. Not a werewolf already showing up. Come on now. Shoot. Flee. We not trying to serve your kind right now. And he already came with the shirt untied and all. I can't get this furry out. Oh, that's Greg. It's Greg. Oh, shout out. Well, welcome in, Greg. I didn't know we hired a damn furry. I know. I'm surprised, too. I didn't know what we were signing up for either. What's my good sis doing over here? What's my good sis doing over here? Who's this? Oh, I saw you on the list. I remember you. Blossom Greenberg. Blossom. I don't think you will harm a fly, sweet baby doll. I wish you the best of the best. Oh my gosh, why? Why did she just look at me like that? Y'all, I'm tweaking. Why did she look me dead in my face? Y'all, I'm not smoking and playing this game again. Oh, why is she walking into the club so sad? And why is she going upstairs? There's nothing up there. There's nothing up there other than my bed. Is that where she's making her way to? All right, now. <laughs> I need to know who cheated on her because I don't know who shows up to the club to go into the club owner's bed and cry. I don't know how to get her out of there. Let's snoop. 
Let's be nosy. I didn't know that was an option. Oh, she got out. She got out. She got lucky. What can we do to help her like feel better? Because I feel so bad. She just bawled her eyes out. Like, <laughs> congratulate her on her new job. I didn't even know she was working for real. Imagine immediately we just start whispering seductively or offering a private dance. How's it going downstairs, actually? Oh, it looks like we only got two customers. And Greg is doing the thing. He's holding it down. He's holding it down. Why is everyone standing over here? Like, do we need like a massive sign? Like saying where the club is at? Because... Maybe we gotta open the bodega like summer holiday is waiting. Are we tending the bar right now? We are. Good, Benadrilia, good. I mean, actually tend to the bar. Let's put the phone down. Your man is not texting you back. Benadrilia's doctor got her right. Like, let me just say, there are people out here killing to have what you got, Miss Girl. Blossom is on her way to wherever she's going. That lady, like, actually terrifies <laughs> Why is she so scary, bruh? Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, you know what else I realized? We don't even have a speaker in here. He's literally dancing to the air conditioning right now. <laughs> so I'm like, what do we buy first? A speaker or a toilet or a fridge? Damn. All right, we got the toilet and we'll just put the fridge like right here, bitch. Like who else's restroom got a fridge in it? I know mine do. The fuck? And look at that, we got a bathroom slash kitchen. At least one getting started, you know? So now we officially have like all the essentials to like survive. Next, I wanna get a stove so we can really get to cooking. Is she already about to go use the restroom? Oh, she's been had to pee. Summer, oh my gosh, she's the first one to break our toilet in. For that little itty bitty tinkle? What is this club, why is nobody dancing? Greg isn't dancing, where's Greg? Not Greg waiting for the bodega. Um, I guess we could like bust a move or two. <laughs> Go ahead, show them how you get down, Benadrilia. Yeah, friend, yeah, yeah, tell them. Why did everybody leave? This is so humiliating for us. Now she's tense. I'd be tense too, I'd be so upset. I'd be more than tense, I'd be furious. See, when Greg is dancing, he gets customers. Why does nobody tap into us? Can we take a look around this town? Like, it is just so bleak but in a very like cute humble way honestly i don't know if you guys have ever played saints row 2 but it's kind of giving Stillwater a little bit that's what i'm getting from this the place looks way better at night i will say that though like it looks way more homey and especially the bodega oh that looks too cute and she about to have her first custom oh see <laughs> oh i had thought you keep shouting mary you'll get him eventually tiger but i'm hearing all this chattering upstairs and everybody is very much so in our room. Is Dawn still here? Where'd he go? We should call Dawn back up because I just thought about something. All right, he's about to pull up because I just had a thought. I had a thought. I was all like, if he is into the dealing business, can't he teach us how to get into it? Hold on, let's mingle because that's a good idea, is it not? Dawn is so easy. Like, all we got to do is just keep flirting. Like, tell him nobody else be doing it like him for real. And <laughs> look, he's already gagged. Like, he's all like, what? Did I know he's not leaving. Where's he going? Better be going to the bodega. Oh, let's call him back up. He gonna pull up. He gonna pull up. Like, I'm not worried. I'm not. Nobody has come to the bodega yet. This is so sad. I'm starting to feel really bad for her, bruh. Greg is working, so let's stop tending the bar. Like, they have a source of entertainment. We need to talk to Dawn outside real quick. Let's actually go next to the bodega. You know what? My new favorite spot my favorite spot everybody needs to tap in and let's chat a little bit oh oh my gosh <laughs> maybe do we need to close the bodega down <laughs> do we need to close the bodega down this is making me worry for her mental health and her physical health evidently oh my gosh and here he go i mean honestly at least somebody's trying to build the hype for her wait what's on social bunny oh let's make a post post about a new outfit how do i feel I'm happy. <laughs> she said, new outfit, new me. Check me out while I, <laughs> while, <laughs> did she really? <laughs> Check me out while I boot scoot around. Mm. Girl, let's react to it. That'll get it started. Let's add to our contact list. Who do we know? Yeah, let's add all the friends. Shoot. Joaquin, Jules, Angela Pleasant. I don't remember speaking to her. Don, cause we gotta get closer with him. This girl, I guess, Um, and Rash. Let's chat it up. <laughs> Let's do a flirty message. I've got an idea. You, me, and Boba T with two straws. Okay, I mean, very direct to the point. I can't argue with that. 
So, how come Don didn't respond and he's in the same room as us? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out the same thing too. Who's up here? Johnny and... and... and Ty Lin. Oh, what did he just say to her? Oh my gosh, why did he just put her through that right now? Are people tapping into the bodega out here? Oh, it looks like it worked. It looks like it worked. Look, you got Irwin and I don't know his name. It's something fabulous. Something fabulous. What is it? Is he fabulous? There we go. And Paulo, who's just low key just staring at her through the window. I don't like, I don't, that's a little, a little creepy. And Jay Huntington. Uh, it's sad to see this version of Jay Huntington when I know the potential that he has. Womp womp. I've seen you in a better life for real. How much money have we made? 1.3k. 1.3 thousand dollars. That's actually insane. Telling you right now, Greg did not disappoint. He was truly the hire we needed to get this business booming. All right, we went ahead and moved the conversation outside. Bro, why is he being like this? He's actually like really like messed up. Pause. Haven't we been here before? No, let's just ask him. Do you like what you see? And be honest, like you don't gotta lie to me, Don. Yo! <laughs> Oh, be out the group. Take me out the group. So he's just like this in every Simiverse is what I'm getting. You know what? Oh, oh, I'm trying to contain myself for real because I almost hit that extreme violence. Y'all know how I be. I be quick with it for real. All right. Not too much. Not too much. Why does he have all my customers gathered in one corner? That's not going to work out. Can we kick him out? How do we kick him out? We just going to have... A quick little exchange of words real quick. Who was this? Oh my gosh. Is this a is this a stray dog? Let's do a cautious introduction. His name is Max. Oh hold on. Let me kick this man out real quick and I'll be right back to you, Max. Ask him to leave. Yeah. Can you get out of here, please? Yeah. Please be upset. You're still in my clientele. Oh, I want Max to be our dog. How do we adopt him? Oh my gosh, why am I already so emotionally attached? Why? Why is she yelling at my dog? Please don't get beat up right now, bro. Okay, stop talking to these people. Why is everyone beefing with my dog? Please get to know Max. He's not as bad as everybody is making him out to be. Why is he number one most hated? Like, he's just here to spread love and joy and everybody is like coming to attack him. Let's praise Max. Hold on. Stop. Stop tending to the bar. We'll get to this later. <laughs> not the dog tuning in for the furry. This is... <laughs> Y'all, can I ask this client to leave? Just go away. Just, Dusty, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, there's a lot of stray dogs. Okay, I can't take all y'all. I'm gonna just pick Max. Max has my heart. But which one is... Rainbow kind of cute, but Rainbow doesn't seem like all glitter and gold, if I'm being so very honest. Oh my gosh, let's offer our friendship. I want Max so bad. I don't know why all... What is going on? And she has to pee. You guys, we have a toilet and they're complaining about being hungry. We have a toilet and a fridge. As a matter of fact, they're both in the same room. Like, it's not, not hard to find. Why is she just watching me and my dog? Is she about to call animal control? Look, because evidently they beefing with Max real bad tonight. Please leave me alone. Like, I'm trying to bond with my dog right now. Oh, please adopt Max. Please adopt Max. We need this. Yes. Oh. Max is our dog now. I'm gonna cry. Max. What's up? Seeing a hideous sim. Okay. Not too much on not too much on your owner now. She can get back to 10 in the bar. Max, we don't have anything. We didn't expect we didn't expect to adopt you. Oh, now y'all wanna switch up? Now you guys wanna switch up. Weren't you guys all just attacking my dog two seconds ago? Oh, they hate these other strays. You know what? But everybody needs to eat. I feel like it's just right for us to take care of the strays too. Like, uh, let's get them some hay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Can we get an automatic feeder? 
Oh, that's too expensive. Then nah, that's too much money. I can get them like two dog bowls. And that's it. They better be grateful. Maybe I can get like some chairs that like I use for strictly outside. You know what? Kind of like that foldable chair we got. Except a little bit more comfortable, I guess. The most uncomfortable stool ever. This is perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. We'll put that right there. We'll get that stool and then like some tires. I don't know. That looks comfortable to me. I would sleep on that. So I feel like the dog should just be grateful that, you know, we giving them a surface to sleep on anyways. Okay, you know what? I take it back. I take it back. We're going to get them one more thing. I want to get them like an actual dog bed, maybe. I don't know. Just a thought. Like, how much was that? 119. We'll do that. I'm not mad at that. Actually, no, I am mad at that because we could go cheaper. Look, we'll put a bed right there. That's perfect. That's so perfect and cozy. It's like a little area for the dogs. Now y'all got to support the club. Y'all got to support the club because we support the dogs. Like, we... We anti PETA. Wait, anti PETA? Anti pro PETA. We pro PETA around here. Oh, she closed the bodega down. Oh my gosh, not nah, she went out of business. And I'm noticing Max is always feeling uncomfortable whenever he's around us. Like, I really think he's trying to say something. Dusty, please, like, stop. I'm not supposed to be folding into every dog right now. Okay, I want Dusty too. I want Dusty. Dusty's too cute. Oh. Listen, we don't need no dog that's going to be giving customers rabies. Where are you going? Dusty not going to tweak with us, though. I know that's right, huh? Right? Exactly. Rough house. Let's do it. Like, that's our homie for real. Dusty loves us. Same with Max. Max is maintaining the business right now. Listen, he's doing a check on everybody. He's all like, are you supposed to be here? Max is security. Thank you very much. Why is this place so smelly? Maybe because your hot breath is doing all this talking right now. <laughs> Why'd I gag her? <gasps> I didn't even mean a snap like that for real. Oh, damn, she done got her brother pulling up. Maybe I should watch what I say. Or maybe I should really get even. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, it took a good minute, but I got Dusty into the family. Everybody is a witness right now. I don't know why it looks like they're all about to like jump my dog. Oh my gosh. It says being greeted. Is this how they're greeting my dog by actively yelling? Okay, maybe something is tweaking out, but you know what? I guess that works, I guess. Oh, and we just closed for the day and we made $1,400. That is what I'm talking about. Greg is ready to clock out. Like, I honestly think he started walking out even before we were actually closed. All right, we need to start. Throw away. Oh, so we got to get a sink in order to be able to clean this up. Okay, they're just taking all my money. Okay, we'll put this sink. We'll put, we'll get this sink. That's kind of cute. And we'll put it right next to the fridge. I think that's a good idea. Can we get a stove? How much does a stove cost? <gasps> we can. A used one. Yeah, we don't need a brand new one. A used one works. But then we're going to need a counter, huh? Okay, I guess we could like get a really cheap used counter. Look, falling into the eco lifestyle, like thrift that shit. Come on, bro. I care about the earth. Full kitchen restroom. Dang. All right. And now we can actually like clean up all these cups on the ground. A trash can or a sink. I have that. Don't tell me I got to do this myself. Why? Why is the game making me work? Well, how am I supposed to get these ones downstairs, upstairs? Like, please riddle me that. Oh, I guess like that. Okay. I mean, it only took forever, but we finally cleaned all of the cups up. So it's like a brand new tidy place. And we just had our first meal. I don't know what she had because I wasn't looking, but um, we finally have like, you know, the ability to eat, sleep, pee and cook and have dogs and work too. Like we can do it all here. And when we don't want to cook, we got the bodega like we good. Is there any dumpsters nearby? Like is dumpster diving a thing or did they take that out of The Sims 4 too? Cause I wouldn't be surprised. Oh my goodness, there's one right here. Wait, what can we dive for? Nap and dumpster, dive for meals, dive for deals. Yes, I do need money. And she's well on her way. I wonder what we're gonna find. I don't think I've ever dumpster dove in The Sims 4 before. I mean, Mortimer was woo wooing in the dumpster, but we wasn't looking for no treasures. She find something? This is like low key embarrassing as hell. I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm getting secondhand embarrassment watching this, but I'm like, what is she finding? Oh, not the bugs. Oh, oh, don't look at us right now. Don't look at us right now. We not trying to talk for real. Okay, so it looks like we found like what? A closet? 
closet dresser type beat i mean it says it might be in questionable condition why does this look like this is it what can I do with this? Okay, we gonna put it in the dark corner because I feel like the only way you can see its true beauty is if it's in a dark, dark corner. And we'll put it like right here. Uh, We have to replace it. Are you serious? Can I sell this then? We'll just leave it. We'll get to replacing it eventually. Who is this and what does he want to do with me? Like we're mad bored, bro. We're not trying to talk for real. We can compliment his appearance. Maybe he has money. Maybe he's trying to work for the club. I don't know what she's talking about. She's telling a funny story, but this is the longest story I've ever witnessed. And he didn't even laugh in the end. Was it really worth it? I don't think so. Where's he going? <laughs> Why did he just do her like that? Hold on, where's he going? Wait, like, don't go. Hold on, let's exchange numbers first. I'll get back to you about whether you can make it into the club or not. Ooh, now she kissed the phone with it too. <laughs> Oh, he's geeked. He is geeked for real. Oh, where's he going? Oh, oh, oh. Should we attempt a mistletoe kiss for like the holidays? Nah, we'll save that. I don't think we're there yet, but they are definitely like, they're getting pretty close. I'm pretty sure they're friends now. Are they? Oh, spouse. So he has a wife. Oh. That's embarrassing. Well, regardless, we'll respect that. We we're not going. We're not no home record now. Like we have morals. We're just gonna. Does he want to work for the club? Like I mean, the invitation is still there. Okay, so Cletus didn't pop up in like the potential new hires menu, but you know who did pop up? You know who did pop up? Don Lothario. We bagged him and did. And so he'll be starting whenever we open the store the next time. But I don't think that that'll be this episode, even though I'm pretty sure it's about to open in like five minutes. Ooh, she thinking about fighting. Y'all saw that? Maybe next episode we're going to have to swing on somebody. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm ready. Like, you know, I, I guess down. I don't play. I'm going to just have her go ahead and go to the gym and then practice her swing a little bit, you know, and get ready for action anytime. And I really think she went for real. Like, can't nobody play with her for real. But that's another story for another time.